Alright, I'm going to show you how to do this with Photoshop. You're going to need a few things to go with this. Um, these two websites, at the Valve Software Developer website, you get 360G and uh, NVIDIA, the uh, NVIDIA plugin for Photoshop. Uh, I'm not sure how you go about this with an ATI card. I'm sure you can uh, select in the filters normal map somewhere other than having the NVIDIA plugin. Anyway, I'll explain that as we go. Um, what you do is you're going to create a new file. Always do your dimensions by the power of 2, 128 by 128, 512 by 512, or 1024 by 1024 okay now this is what I do just to take like a picture or something I downloaded I go to file place and I go to the pictures and let's see here's a tile texture and let's not do that let's do a, a regular picture place. Here, I'll do this one. I'm just going to pull it out until it fits. Press enter. Now you go down here to FX, bevel and emboss. You can use this to clean it up anyway. You can add different texture to it. You can, you know, do a lot to it. Fix it up a little bit. Whatever, that's good for me. Now press Control Shift S. We're gonna save this as Coffee underscore D I F F. Save it as a Targa and save it somewhere you're going to remember where it is I have a custom textures folder and we're going to save that save it in 32 bits okay now we're going to close this no don't save it we're going to open coffee diff TGA now you go to filter NVIDIA Tools Normal Map Filter. There's various options it's going to give you. Uh, you can do a 3D preview. It just kind of shows you what it, what it'll look like as light shines on it. As it'll come in and out. There you go. Alright, and you just, after you select your settings, you just click OK. Then Control, Shift, S save it as coffee underscore nom as a targa so whatever you named the, the other one first instead of diff just nom save it it's 32 no I press control V control L and we're gonna darken this up Just darken it up a little bit, I guess, is pretty much what you should do. Press OK. Control Shift S. Save this one. Same name as the other two, except Spec. S P E C. Targa. Save it. 32 bits. OK. We're done in Photoshop. Now you're going to want to open the 360G program. You're going to want to go to File and Set Working Directory Path. I have mine set to two directory paths. One, 
goes to the materials folder in my Left 4 Dead files, and one goes to the materials folder in my Left 4 Dead SDK files. Uh, once you uh, go to set working path and have those two set up, all you do is go to your folder where you saved your your three texture files. We're going to select all three of them, drag them into 360. Oh, that's the wrong one. Coffee was the one I was looking for. There we go. Drag those ones in there. Scroll down to the bottom and pick the the diff. Go to File, New Materials File. Here you can change the shader of it, however you want the surface. Uh, this is going to be paper. Now for the texture, the bump is going to be the nom, and the specular is going to be the spec contrast saturation. And OK. And if you look up here, here's the texture. Now, open up your hammer, browse for the texture. There it is, I have it right there. So we'll select it, and I will go. to this billboard selecting my face edit I'm gonna select this select my coffee one apply it fit it and there it is pretty simple um, and you can do just about anything I've done wall textures uh, you can do bump map textures, all kinds of cool stuff. Hope this helps. Have fun, guys.